Kirsty, uh, you faced uh, Sindhu in the, the first round of the Denmark Open, so uh, not an wi- easy way to get started here, right? No, this is uh, always a tough tournament here, here for me, but I have really great memories too. I know I can perform really well here. Um, I just keep getting seeded players uh, wherever I go. Um, and in a way, I like that because I want those games and I want the opportunities to beat these players. Um, but I would maybe like the opportunities in the second round quarterfinals, you know, something like that. But uh, hey, it is what it is. Um, and I'm I'm so sure each week that I'm I'm gaining, I'm learning lessons and I'm, I'm gaining small skills and like I'm, I am so close to these to these wins. So um, yeah, the more I play these top players, the more the quicker I learn. So I'm, I'm choosing to look at it that way. In the sense you mentioned on Instagram um, that uh, progress isn't linear. And uh, so from a match like this where you uh, took the lead, even at some points in the second game, it was quite strong. Uh, what what kind of important things can you take from, from, yeah, from such a performance? Um, it's just nice to be able to see the, the small things that I'm working on in training actually come up in a match and for me to actually execute them well. Um, so it proves to me that we're on the right track with the things in training. And it proves to me that I'm changing bad habits, old habits, and ingraining these new ones. I can feel myself making better choices on the court, uh, even in stressful situations. So it's coming, it's really getting there. Um, and I'm just, one one of these days it's, it's gonna happen. I've had you know wins over big players in the past. Um, and I do think my actual consist, my, my level is more consistent now. There's not so many like highs and lows. I think I go on the court and produce a more a good consistent level now um it's just these these lit couple more points and it's going to be mine with this with this positive attitude um of course and everyone knows that this is a busy period uh, there's uh, more chances uh, for you to to get these things right so yeah how do you prepare for such a busy period and what's what's the outlook um personally for me um i re- i honestly had a really bad day last week when i just uh, i kind of thought about the the length of it all and the occasion of it all and I uh, I had a really rough day about it um, so I spoke to a lot of people and a lot of people like kind of calmed me down um, and I think the best way to look at it is just like week by week but almost day by day it's so cliche but just like really take each day at a time because if you look at the next six weeks as a whole it's too much for one person to <laughs> to comprehend. So um, really taking it day by day, game by game, um, and yeah, trying to find those little uh, pockets of, of rest where I can find them. Now, what about next week? Uh, is the French Open? Or what are you going to do in between now? Uh, I'm going to get some good days of training uh, here, but also um, for me, it's important to keep the fun in it. Um, so, you know, a lot of my friends are here, so I'm sure I can get some some good training with them um and then yeah off to a new place to Rennes uh in France so that'll be nice to kind of switch up this um October period I think this might be my 10th year doing these tournaments so um yeah it's nice to have a little new new thing in there